ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಹಂಪಿಹೋಳಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೋಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಅಂಬ್ರೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ನೈಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಹಂಪಿಹೋಳಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಒಂದು ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಮಿತ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿತ್ ಯು ಇ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಹಂಪಿಹೋಳಿ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೋಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಜಿ ಐ ಟಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಜೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ರೀಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ನಲಿಟಿ ಥೇರಮ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ಆರ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ವೇರ್ ಐಗನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐಗನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಸ್ಕೈ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಟು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ರೋಬೋಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ
what is linear transformation or as a question suppose you are asked to find define linear transformation suppose you are asked like this or you may be asked define a linear transformation with an example purposely i am writing this because if you are asked in the examination like this whatever we are discussing now in the next uh, small in one slide or two slide that you have to write okay or mention an example now as a solution of this what i am trying to do as a solution of this this question here you see let uh, u and v let u and v be two vector spaces in the first chapter you have definitely undergone the vector spaces if not please go through that video of vector spaces and then again go through this video now i am first time using a linear transformation dear students a linear transformation in word one word is a function from one set to one more set a linear transformation or simply lt non words a linear transformation or lt from u to v is in one word i told in one word it should be a function let me write is function please from u to v now comes important point such that what that function is t instead of f and all that t of a alpha plus b beta is equal to a into t of alpha plus b into t of beta so please have patience till we finish one example so what are these alpha beta a and b where alpha beta are vectors belonging to the set u a and b are constants say real numbers 1 2 3 4 like that okay now let us see an example so that we will understand also so now in a nutshell what we can tell is see there is one set u here but more than set it is a vector space there is one more set v here there are two vectors alpha beta here and you are combining one more vector here using two times alpha three times beta like that instead of two and three i am using this this whole thing under the sum action that we call it as transformation suppose object is there and you are keeping a lens here and that image will fall here but what happens after taking transformation so that after taking transformation what happens after taking transformation so that we will write whatever the action is happening after taking transformation on this object this looks like this which is a times t alpha plus b times t beta actually the meaning of this in english is whether you add the objects you can see this here you are adding the objects first a alpha plus b beta after taking afterwards you are taking transformation so that first add then take transformation adding is first 
transformation second is equivalent to first take transformation first take transformation afterwards multiply by a and b and afterwards add so whether you take add add and transformations are interchangeable left hand side adding is first transformation second right hand side transformation first adding is second all the functions do not exhibit this property those functions like this t exhibit this property are known as linear transformation so as i told let us see one example so we are we are understanding the answer to this question define linear transformation with an example so we defined here so example will not only answer the question it will also elaborate example through that through that in the example i am trying to write one more sub question through that linear transformation from three dimension to three dimension okay or two dimension i will call where first set becomes u second set becomes v defined by defined by let us go in the slow pace in the beginning defined by t of t of t of a b c should become simply a b that is it is a projection of three dimension point on x y plane now we have to prove that we have to prove that sorry this is a linear transformation now let us suppose i'll consider uh, two two elements alpha alpha equal to suppose a1 b1 c1 beta equal to a2 b2 c2 so these two belong to three dimension and let some a and b small a small b belong to constant sets like 1 2 3 4 now lhs of this definition tells that first i have to add first i have to add these two afterwards i have to take the linear transformation that means what is the meaning of this lhs what is the meaning of this lhs first add a into alpha is here a1 b1 c1 three dimension point plus some constant b into just like 5 into beta is here a2 comma b2 comma c2 and we know that whenever there is two times 5 6 7 we take just multiply these two inside 2 into 5 10 2 into 6 and 2 into 7 similarly what i do here is multiply this a inside becomes a times again a times sorry here comma a times and a times this becomes one three dimensional point plus second one is all b times b times and b times and then we have to add so now i have to write after adding this linear transformation remains as it is after adding this linear transformation becomes as it is now still add addition is not over addition is what addition is equal to i am starting with lhs i have to end with rhs addition is component wise we have to add component wise we have to add first component to first component a a1 plus b b1 comma b a2 actually second one a b1 plus b b2 third one all c parts a c1 plus b c2 now addition is over so i told first addition then i'll take the definition what is the definition only the first and second part are kept third part is neglected and becomes a sec two dimension part so just like ondu neralu biddange idr mele bhoomi mele three dimension object to two dimension kanasthade nodi sorry if i am using kannada in between hope uh, uh, from you don't mind you got enough today you have to use 
just like what is the meaning of this uh, transformation given here 2 3 5 suppose so this z part becomes 0 which is uh, 2 3 so in a three dimension suppose some point is there some object is there then what we take it's a image on two dimension so 2 3 5 height becomes 0 that's all it becomes 2 3 oh, it is a projection so this is one definition and we are trying to prove that this satisfies the condition of linear transformation so we are answering the question define linear transformation and give an example so this is the example we have taking this is the example then we have added now i am taking the definition i am applying definition means what definition once again you see definition is what third part you have to neglect only two three here what is the third part third part where it is third part here the third part is there so only the first two part you have to write first part second part and that becomes a a1 plus b a2 comma a b1 plus b b2 and 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 now you can again write them as sum of sum of two vectors so first part first part you write a a1 co comma a b1 second part second part you write b a2 comma b b2 now can you write it as a times think please b times think please what you're writing a is common a is common a1 b1 a1 b1 a2 b2 a2 b2 now you can very well observe that you can very well observe that you can definitely write you can definitely write this as a into this is transformation of a1 b1 c1 because of the definition if you go back what happens c part is neglected so that these two become equivalent these two become equivalent you can write it as a times a1 b1 c1 and plus similarly you can write it as this part as this has been the transformation of a2 b2 and c2 again after taking transformation this c part is neglected it becomes a2 b2 c2 but 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 in the beginning we have taken this a1 b1 c1 as alpha and a2 b2 c2 as beta oh you see here then you can see here we started with this lhs transformation of a alpha plus b beta according to definition it is a linear transformation if this happens we proved that this happened here so that you can go through the video once again to check this so this definition has satisfied the condition of linear transformation therefore given transformation given transformation t of abc equal to ab is definitely linear transformation quickly we shall see what we did in my dream node one define linear transformation define linear transformation with an example so first of all let us take two vector spaces u and v from one space to another space object to image relation a transformation t from u to v is a linear transformation if uh, such a thing happens that is a uh, this part is happening so we have an example through that this example under this example this is happening t of a b c many times i am telling this becomes a b instead of neglecting the instead of neglecting the last part you can neglect the second part that can be one more example instead of a b it can be a c instead of a b a c it can be only b c similar type of treatment has to be given now what we do to prove it we take two vectors from the r cube first part u part which is three dimension points one three dimension point one more three dimension point so the definition tells that you multiply this by some number a a alpha plus b beta afterwards take transformation 
and now inside the bracket you see i have i went on adding i went on adding first of all what is meant by alpha beta i wrote then you multiply this a here and b here then you add component wise first a a1 and b a2 that we added without applying t so a a1 plus b b2 second component second to second component third to third component now we apply the definition of t in this case that is the last part is neglected gone and first part second part remains x y part remains so you readjust this as sum of two vectors that is first part to first part you write as it is a a1 plus a b1 here second part to second part if you add back you will get a a1 plus b a2 here you see you can very easily check it if you don't understand try to go back to the steps that is one more criteria of understanding mathematics so that a times a1 b1 plus b times a2 b2 so then you can write this a1 b1 as transformation because of t of a1 b1 c1 transformation because of t of a2 b2 c2 is this uh, part hence we proved that starting with this lhs part of definition starting with this uh, lhs part of definition we could prove that it gives the rhs part of the definition it is giving this rhs part of the definition hence given transformation is linear so why not we should see one example such that which is not linear transformation that is quite interesting let us see that example now to see the example where it is uh, so i told in the beginning we shall go slow example 2 show that or prove that or establish any question any word can be used okay show that a transformation given by okay one minute a transformation from three dimension to three dimension again given by any point of three dimension you take and apply transformation now what is happening is it is becoming x comma y but always the third part is becoming one for certain reason then whether this is a linear transformation at the outset i'll tell you it is not see linear transformation should not contain independent constants like this sorry again linear transformations should not contain independent constants like this okay so we shall prove how it is not so as in the previous case let here both u and v both u and v are three dimensions so solution part let alpha equal to beta equal to two points one is just like previous case a1 b1 c1 here x1 y1 z1 beta equal to x2 y2 z2 so then i consider the lhs part of definition so lhs part of definition let us see what it is let us consider a times a times alpha first what is a times alpha equal to a into alpha is x1 y1 z1 what is a times this every point will becomes a times 10 times means 10 times so every point is becoming a times a times a times every sector or every part similarly b b beta means b beta means every point beta is x2 y2 z2 so if i don't write comma please think that it is there so that every point becomes uh, inside becomes uh, b times uh okay so b times all are two suffixes are two x2 y2 z2 two suffix first one is one suffix c times z2 now you have to add these two if you add these two what happens a alpha plus b beta which is equal to component wise you have to add this plus this like that first component to first component so similarly second third component you will be adding please ax1 plus bx2 the x part is over now y part can you suggest you are right if you have written this again you are right 
if you have written this. My students, dear students, I need not tell you that you are in third year. Better always for mathematics. Keep always watch this video with the pen and paper in your hand. Along with this, you can scribble down. Now it is a time to take transformation. Let us take transformations on both sides. So you have already done this part. So this part, both LHS and RHS, both LHS and RHS, I'll take transformation. T of A alpha plus B beta. So at the end, what I should prove? This is not equal to A times T alpha plus B times T beta. So let us apply T on both sides. So if I apply T on both sides, it is T of AX1 plus BX2 comma. Only thing is you have to get used to it. It is not a rocket science. What I am doing now with little bit uh, acquaintance familiarity, 100% uh, you all can do it. Uh, I am sure of it. Otherwise, please, you can call me anytime 9448230469 or you can mail me prhampuri at git.edu. Again, thanks to with you for giving a connect to us. This is this. Now, now, according to the definition, I'll wait for you. You should understand that part. According to definition, what we should do. Let us go back to the definition. Let us see this definition. So this is the definition. This is the definition. What is happening? Right hand side, what is happening? First two parts are kept as it is. XYs are kept XY. Third part always is reduced to one. Whatever may be, third part is one. So third part is one. Remember, third part is one. So third part is one. After removing transformation, after transformation, you can already one though was to begin you four cycle then get transformation after the elastic uh, elastic is stretched. Suppose it will get transformed. So like that, it is getting transformed that that third part is always third part is always one. First and second part are kept as it is. Note that I have removed transformation. So that I have removed transformation after removing this T after removing the T here. You should not write T again after removing T. This has happened. Something has happened. What has happened? Third part has become one. Now I'll count. I will calculate the RHS part separately. This is our LHS part. Now I'll calculate RHS part. What is RHS? It is a times T alpha plus B times plus B times T beta. Now already we know that A times T alpha. Already we know that A times T alpha means alpha is X1, Y1, Z1. And B times T beta means uh, beta is X2, Y2, Z2. So in these two examples, we are understanding. First example is linear transformation. Second example is not linear transformation. So if you understood this example, so then uh, please uh, tell me that A times according to definition, first two parts are kept as it is in this example. Third part becomes one and 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 here also after removing T after removing T means after applying transformation, first two parts as it is third part becomes one. Now, now you add these two, what you will get? AX1. A Y one comma A Y one comma A because you are multiplying by A inside everywhere. This is over this plus as it is. This plus as it is. This is A as it is. Again, every every part becomes B times B times and this B times. Then you are adding these two component wise A X one plus B X two. Component wise a y1 plus b y2. Okay, this part is same. This part is same. This part is same. But here happens, you see, here the third part is different. Here the third part a plus b. Third part. Third part is a plus b. Where is the third part? Because of because of LHS part one. Third part because of RHS part is A plus B. Here the third parts are not agreeing. That's why RHS and LHS are not equal. You can write RHS and LHS are not equal. 
n is not equal means whatever the given transformation is there t is not linear transformation not is important t is not linear transformation so like that we understood that sometimes some are linear transformations some are not linear transformations so i i suggest you one more method even if you can do this like this with an example that is a uh, you can take particular example to to disprove to prove you should not take particular example to prove you should not take particular example alternative method like this you can do alternative you can take alpha equal to let x1 y1 z1 equal to say take any three dimensional point so for example i am giving you suppose 1 to 3 and beta equal to x2 y2 z2 equal to you can take any one more point suppose for easiness you take 4 5 6 and constants a and b you select on your own non zero constants will select please one is both you can select one and one nothing wrong one and one now try to prove it try to prove it it will not happen lhs lhs will be just 1 plus 4 5 and 7 rhs 5 7 1 and rhs will be 5 7 2 so that you can see so using this example also you can tell that okay just small homework to you see if you apply a alpha plus b beta this lhs lhs in this small example becomes i am giving you direct result 5 7 1 it becomes whereas rhs okay becomes 5 7 2 you can see that third part third part are not agreeing hence t is not linear transformation so this red color tells that you can use alternative for this you can use alternative to disprove you can always prove disprove then counter example in your pc classes you have already seen that this proof can be done by counter examples so like that first we understood the definition so one by one one by one steps we can have iga devarige bahala avatar irutade nodi hange linear transformation ige bahala avatar ide idrinda innond avatar torsona va so that is the side heading of the next one so today just i am introducing that avatar of linear transformation ide adar avatar that is known as matrix of matrix of linear linear transformations bahut sulabha very simple but always i would like to give you question and afterwards go back to the answer by so that we can learn question answers also we can learn the concepts also so that the first question i mean the question of this chapter sub title find the matrix of linear transformation for the following for the following with respect to the base with respect to the base which already you have studied in the first chapter standard base which is given by t of r square to r square t from r square to r square that is two dimensional plane to two dimensional plane one transformation is there given by if you take any two dimensional number and put under this transformation you take any two dimensional number suppose xy after transformation its image looks like this its image looks like 2 times x plus 3y x becomes x part becomes this part comma y part becomes 4x minus 6y it is just like if you are from a civil department it is just like uh, electricity shear transformation and uh, at all not so that i am writing here at all i have explained there this is just explanation i did so one two dimensional plane to one more two dimensional plane xy becomes 2x plus 3y 4x minus 3y 
that is x y is getting transformed to 2 x plus 3 y and 4 x minus 6 y okay so what is required we should write an matrix here here you are learning a very important so just let me mention because it is learnt in first chapter standard standard basis of xy plane or or second two dimensional space okay is is a set actually a set 1 0 comma 0 1 actually these are considered as vectors for example this is the explanation part i am doing just like ij vectors this part is 1 0 and this part is 0 1 why they are known as basis vectors using these two these two you can create any number for example you want 8 10 which is what 8 times 1 0 plus 10 times 0 1 when you add it becomes 8 plus 8 plus 0 then 0 plus 10 any number you give you can express in terms of 0, 1 0 0 1 just like in english all the letters are written only in terms of a to z 26 are enough similarly here for two dimension suppose uh, capital a capital b <coughs> sorry two letters are enough to create any word in the two dimension space 52 we can write in terms of 1 0 0 1 <coughs> sorry now let us come to our task solution part solution of this example solution is what is matrix whereby we should understand what is the matrix of linear transformation one the linear transformation one the matrix one the matrix one the linear transformation please it is very very important you can change them you can always represent linear transformation by matrix in future so they are instead of Kannada you can talk in English like that instead of English you can talk in Kannada instead of linear transformation you can talk in matrix instead of matrix you can talk in linear transformation solution is like this suppose what is given t of x y equal to you should uh, in the solution reproduce this instead of 2 3 and 4 minus 6 anything can be given same answer same answer only one line answer i am writing matrix matrix of linear transformation t is something like a matrix because it is going from two dimension to two dimension it is two cross two matrix if it is going from three dimension to two dimension three cross two three dimension three dimension three cross three or two to three dimension two cross three different matrices you are going to get in this it is very simple whatever these coefficients two three are there you write two three here and uh, sorry <coughs> whatever this coefficient uh, four six is there you write four minus six so what is happening here <coughs> i'll explain why it is a linear transformation why it can be replaced suppose you are taking a point in your square plane and here x y point is there so this has to be transformed using transformation or instead of that i am writing two three four minus six so and this point should go via this filter and how it looks in the image part okay so here with using this uh, transformation directly you write it becomes uh, 2x plus 3y comma 4x minus 6y but here using matrix how do i write in place of this i am writing xy so xi is multiplied by this matrix hence 2x plus 3y becomes the first part this point is getting transformed somewhere moved somewhere it's just like computer graphics please one point is moved somewhere by this transformation i am giving you hint okay i am giving you hint that such things are happening here also in linear, linear algebra if you go on creating infinite number of transformations like this infinite number of moments this is a pixel here this is a pixel here it is moving to one more pixel object image hope you are feeling something comma second row if you multiply 4 times x minus 6 times y comma 4 times x minus 6 times y same effect as of this t once again repeating so after this repetition i am closing this 
T has the same effect of A. Both T and A are same. That's why you can go back from A to T or T to A. This A is the matrix of linear transformation got by 2, 3 is the first row, 4 minus 6 the second row. So today uh, or this lecture I am stopping here. Next lecture with a little more speed we shall go and we will continue with matrix of linear transformation with a, with a question in mind. If transformation T can be replaced by matrix A, then whatever the matrix algebra is there, whether you can do it T also. I am repeating my question. If T and if transformation and the matrix are same, I can square a matrix. Can you square a transformation? I can find the inverse of a matrix. Can you find inverse transformation? Interestingly, the answer is yes. Wait for the next video. Till that, bye. See you. Bye. Thank you.